coming to you from the Great Barrier Reef here in Australia. We are on board Mike Ball's Spoil Sport Liverboard. Uh, we've just finished up an amazing week diving here and we have seen so much. Um, really has been an incredible trip and I feel like we say that every time but it has surpassed expectations and we've got sunshine which we weren't expecting. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, check that out. There's a barrier reef right behind us there. It's our first time in Australia, first time on the Great Barrier Reef. And to say expectations that have been ex exceeded is probably an understatement. And like Hayley says, yes, we, stay that, we say that on every trip, but when we actually arrived in Australia last week, uh, we spent a few days in Cairns and, and the, we had a, it, it was a bit cloudy, a bit wet, a bit humid. <laughs> yes, first couple of days on the Liverpool Dwar. Um, but yeah, the tail end of the trip, or the, or the second half, mm. the last sort of four days have been absolutely blistering. Um, I came away with one thing I wanted to see on my wish list. Uh, was a wobby gong shark, never seen one before. And lo and behold, on my 600th dive last night at Vertical Gardens, uh, Ribbon Reef number five, uh, I saw a wobby gong. I saw a second one in the dive. Haley thinks it was the same I'm one. Sure the I'm same convinced one. it was a different one. So I'm counting it as, you two, have it as two wobby gongs. But honestly, the, the Great Barrier Reef is just like it Thriving. is in Nemo, you know, yeah, it really is, like finding email. It literally is, it's, it's just like a, a thriving underwater uh, metropolis. It's just crazy. You know, we had a manta barrel oh, roll in on manta. a night dive the other night. One-on-one -on -one dance with a manta. Yeah, Hayley got some great shots of it. The best dive of my life. We've seen a ton load of sharks. We've seen, you know, mantis shrimp. We've seen nudies of all different shapes yeah, and sizes. Loads of stuff. It's been crazy. The first couple of days we were out over the Coral Sea. So we dived at Bourganville Reef, did a day's dive in there and then we did Osprey, Osprey Reef, Reef uh, yeah. in the Coral Sea before heading to the Great Barrier Reef itself. Um, over to Lizard Island where we dropped a few guests off. So we've done the seven day itinerary, um, but there's a four night and a three night cruise. So if you're doing the, the four night cruise, you can kind of get off halfway through uh, and then the three night guests get on and take their place. So we've sort of had two sets of friends to meet and dive with, which has been really cool. Really good. Get to meet lots of people from all over the world. And it's just been really like interesting how the two different uh, trips have contrasted. Yeah, definitely. Both amazing, yeah. but just quite different. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm glad we did the week because it meant we got to see all of the different sites. Yeah, I highly recommend doing the full week. Yeah. It's literally doing the Coral Sea is such a contrast to the Great Barrier Reef itself. It's a completely different uh, set of marine animals that you'll see. Water temperature has been 29, 30 yeah, degrees. 30. It did touch. It did touch 31 on yesterday afternoon's dive. There was an absolutely bizarre, really warm thermocline that comes streaming down the reef. But yeah, absolutely stunning. Yeah. We've done what 20? Well, I've done about 24, 25 yeah. dives this week. You can do about 26, I think, a uh, itinerary says. But yeah, we've we've tried to do as many as we can. Um, obviously, we just want to spend every minute in the water. <laughs> so a bit sad that it's come to an end. It has come to an end. Yeah, we've uh, we've just finished our last dive. So we are uh, we've got the boat barbecue party tonight, <laughs> uh, and then we. Um, off the boat tomorrow and yep. we head down to Sydney so we've got a few days in Sydney and we're gonna try and catch a bit of diving now but uh, For yeah, now, the Mike there. Ball trip has been absolutely exceptional uh, one oh. thing I will say we've done a lot of liverboards um, and we've come across a lot of Liverpool crew there's a real sense of pulling together and theatre on this boat you know you get the dive crew helping out in the kitchen mm -hmm. the kitchen staff get to go diving there's none of this this is your job and that's all you do yeah, it's a real you're a work. dive guide you're the only people that can do that there is a there's a real sense of everyone chipping in everyone takes turns in being the lookout everyone takes turns in being the um, deck hand on the back of the boat uh, the dive guys all take turns in taking them out everyone gets to go out for a pleasure dive so it's not all just working with um, with the guests really 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 great they also take on two volunteers for every trip so they can yeah. have people come and experience it and then they help out and get to do some of the diving which is amazing because then you get people coming on yeah on and two ship. of the guides uh, lucas and uh, miriam they are they were both volunteers they both did a week uh, week of volunteering last year and uh, they're both now working on the boat so it's a great example of how that volunteering program works so yeah absolutely exceptional um yeah, if you're going to do an Australian Liverpool and the Barrier Reef, then and Mike There's Ball only one that you do. is only one you can do. There is another one. I won't say its name, <laughs> but uh, Mike Ball celebrated 50-year anniversary last year. 
you know, the, the, the name is synonymous with the Great Barrier Reef. It's, it's the one that everyone would refer to. If you say you work or, or, or you've been on a Mike Ball dive exposition, then um, yeah, it really makes people listen and, and kind of like make their ears prick up. So if you're going to come to the Barrier Reef, which I highly recommend that you do, um, it's not dead, it's not dying, like all the reports say. I've never seen coral like it. It's The healthy is just, inc it's just in crazy, yeah. in crazy healthy. Crazy? Beautiful. In crazy? Crazily. Crazily Crazily. healthy. That's what I'm trying to say. It looks amazing. The parts that we visited, it's thriving. So I think it's a lot of bad press. You know, there, there are problems here, but there are so many areas you can go to to see it in its full glory. And we have seen only a glimmer of that, and it's been absolutely amazing. Yes, I would definitely want to come back. Yeah. Okay, so that's it from us. We are going to go and finish packing our dive gear away and taking our cameras apart. Yeah, get a drink. <laughs> get, get, get a drink. We'll have another drink. But yeah, we are heading down to Sydney after this trip. Uh, so we're going to do some diving there and also in Adelaide. So keep your eyes peeled for more from us on the Scubaverse and Dive Travel Adventure channels. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll speak to you guys soon. Yeah. See you next time. Cheers, guys. Bye. Bye.